Hi everyone, and welcome to the unit Crime Prevention and Community. Uh, my name's Ken Yates, and I will be your unit coordinator this semester. Now this video is a brief introduction to the unit, uh, and it'll help give you a sense of what it's about and what to expect. Now this unit will examine the theory, politics, and practice of crime prevention. It will address current approaches to crime prevention, evaluate their effectiveness, and examine emerging strategies in the field. This unit will consider the diversity of crimes and the ways in which some are constructed as preventable and others are not, while discussing the challenges posed by unreported crime, the fear of crime, and the relationship between patterns of victimization and social disadvantage. The unit will draw on empirical literature linking individual, social, and contextual factors to the production and prevention of deviant behaviours, and it's also going to explore the potential of crime prevention strategies for alleviating the social ills associated with crime and delinquency. Now for those of you who have read ahead, you'll note that that is straight from the learning guide, and it's important that you do have a look at the learning guide and make sure that you're familiar with the overall unit structure and importantly the assessment structure. Now, this semester, there are three assessments. There's a research exercise, an annotated bibliography, and a final essay. Now, the research exercise is based around a particular case study, while the annotated bibliography will help you prepare for the final essay. So make sure you refer to the learning guide to help prepare for these assessments, and make a note of them in your diaries or calendars, and if you don't use one of these, I highly recommend you start. Um, you've probably already got one on your phone or tablet or computer anyway. So overall, this unit is engaging with concepts uh, to help us understand better the issues around crime prevention. Now, some of you may wonder why we bother with concepts and theories and things like that. But the fact is that whether we know it or not, we... Uh, engage with and relate to the world around us through the use of concepts. These concepts are the ideas and assumptions that we rely on to make sense of the world and interpret it. We might not have names for these concepts or really sort of think of them as constructs or anything like that, um, but they're there. So it's important also to remember that knowledge isn't just about representing the world on the page. More importantly, knowledge is about, or well, first and foremost, a way of coping with the world around us. Uh, on that note, it's important to make sure that you've studied the assigned readings each week and that you've watched the lectures. The lectures are all online this semester, so that means one less thing for you, um, which you have to wake up early and haul yourself to campus for. Now, it's important that you come prepared for class and that you take part in the discussions and the activities. Um, reading about something isn't enough to learn it in a deep sense. Um, taking part in discussion, sharing ideas, and contributing to a broader discourse about the topic will help cement that understanding. Um, now, on that note, all the best this semester.